this was a great win for our team, um, especially after letting one to these guys slip away at home when, you know, we were right there and just didn't do enough to get it done to come down and win on the road. And I think just a great way to end our regular season. So I'm just so proud of our team. It was a complete team effort. Anybody that contributed or did not even go in the game was part of this. And um, this is just a great win. Confidence wise, coach, you, uh, you knock off the top team in the conference on their floor. I did. What does that do for you? Well, I think, you know, we've felt all year that when we play our best, that we can beat anybody in the conference. And we also know that when we don't do the things that we know that we need to, to be competitive, anybody in the conference can beat us. And so I've talked to our team a lot this week about the gap between knowing and doing, you know, because at this point in the season, everybody knows exactly what they should be doing. Now, are you going to be disciplined and tough enough to do it every time it's required of you? And I thought they really responded to that challenge. I, we were very composed tonight. Um, we didn't get rattled if they went on a run or they made big plays. We just st stuck together. And, um, you know, st I thought we did a great job of staying in the moment. Coach, how important was it to double team um, Young, Desiree Young and really just um, pressure her to, to hold her from shooting? You know, she's, she's so talented. And if she catches it with two feet in the paint, it's two points or a foul most of the time. And if she misses it, she's probably getting her own rebound. And so we just tried to work as hard as we could to take away passing angles to her um, because once they got it into her, I thought we were going to be in a lot of trouble. And I really credit Nia and Amaya. They were so active, especially in the second half of trying to get around and trying to limit her touches. And I thought they both just did a fabulous job of that. And then the people on the ball, I thought we did a good job getting our hands up, trying to take away vision so that they could find those, you know, angles to get her the ball. He has really been uh, putting together the scoring uh, the last couple of games. What do you attribute that to? You know, sometimes at this point in the season, seniors, they just get a sense of urgency. They know that their minutes, their you can count them, you know, how many more you're going to get an opportunity to play. And I think Nia is such a great scorer and she's so versatile that, you know, in certain games, she's a matchup problem because who do you kind of put on her? She has perimeter skills and she has post skills and she's extremely explosive and athletic. In my opinion, she's the sixth player of the year in our conference, like hands down. She's been that for us. She's been a huge lift off the bench. Um, you know, and tonight I thought you and I'll be really keyed in on Deja and Audrey and they were like, you're not getting good looks and to have other people step up around them. That's what you have to do at this time of year. If you want to keep playing, you got to have other people find a way to get it done. If they're really keying in on other people. Kaylee Borden played her most minutes tonight. Um, what can you say about her and how she helped? Well, you know, she's such a great athlete and she's a good shooter. Um, and she's been injured and kind of in and out of stuff this year. And so she's finally been able to get back into practice the last couple of weeks. And she's had some really great reps. And, you know, putting her in today, um, I thought defensively she was fantastic. And she also, I joked um, on radio that sometimes in practice, I have to tell her to like run the offense because if she's open, she's shooting it in practice, which is good because in the flow of a game like this, when they were trying to take other people away, you know, she stepped up and hit a big shot in the first half. I thought that really helped us. Um, I was going to say something else about her. Uh, yeah, just defensively, she's tremendous. And, oh, I was going to say, in the, I thought I did a poor job subbing late in the Utah State game, and I thought we were really tired. And so tonight I was like, I'm not going to let us get in that situation. So we tried to sub a little bit earlier and keep our players fresh in case it was super close late. I didn't want us to lose a game because of fatigue or not make the right plays. And, you know, her minutes, Kenna's minutes, minutes off the bench, Natalie's huge for us. Um, and they all came in and helped us, did something positive. All right, so right. now, now you uh, you head into the uh, Mountain West tournament. The next few days, what's that look like for you? Well, you know, tomorrow they really need to rest and recover. Um, you know, Allie, I don't think was 100% today. She's got to get healthy. We're better when she's healthy. Um, and then Friday, we'll come back, practice, get ready for our game on Monday. Saturday, we're going to head down here. And then Sunday, I think we'll get some time on the main court, which is, I think, important just to feel comfortable. You know, we haven't played in Thomas and Mac this year. And so, you know, it's, it's a big arena like Waller. So I like that just because we're kind of used to playing in something like that. But I think just, you know, everybody being healthy and energized and coming down with kind of a nothing to lose mindset. You know, it can, I think anybody in our conference can win the tournament. And it's going to be about, you know, who plays the best in in their games. And so for us, we know that we can beat anybody if we play our best and we can lose to anybody if we don't. And so, you know, I think having that, um, that knowing is, is important. We're not going to just show up and win. And we know that. Roden played less minutes today. Is that just because UNLV was in her early? Yeah, we're really disrupting her and getting her out of her rhythm. Um, and for her, she's such a, gets such a scorer's mentality. I thought she was really trying to score and be aggressive. 
Um, and then Kiki obviously played, you know, some of those guard minutes today too, and did a great job for us, but you know, Audrey's going to be fine. And I, we expect her to come back and have some great games for us in the Mountain West tournament. You're now set to take on Air Force. Both games come, came down to the stretch with those. Um, how are you feeling about that opponent and just taking it pretty much as any other team that you'd be facing? You know, I think they're going to be an extremely tough matchup. I think in the conference, they probably play the best team defense and um, really aggressive and they get you out of your stuff. And so taking care of the ball is huge. Uh, since the first time we played them as a team, they're scoring so much better, shooting the ball better. I feel like their younger players have really grown and gotten better throughout the season and are playing with a lot of confidence. So I think for a first round matchup, it's going to be really tough. And we need to, you know, again, we got to play our best or we know it can happen. <laughs>